Y'all, Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. Check it out. This is uh, Highway 83. We are just in uh, North Dakota, real close to the South Dakota border. You know, I've driven past this uh, place here, I don't know how many times, maybe three, four times through the years, through a lot of years, and we're going to go check it out. I mean, this is a piece of everyone's history, <laughs> if you're old enough. This is called the Welk Homestead. Lawrence Welk Home. Gotta check it out. I've driven past that sign I don't know how many times. Anyway, let's do it today. Let's go have some fun. Can you say Farmland USA? That's North Dakota. I mean, it is just massive in agriculture here. On the west side of North Dakota, that's where you get all the oil. But they got oil wells. Okay, the sign said a couple miles out in this direction. I'd say the, all them trees over there is it. Great nice farms out here. Cool. We're almost there. That's a dinky little sign. <laughs> hey, it works. Corn everywhere. You know, they've had drought here this year. They're still growing. Ooh, looks like a big pond up here. Cool. One lonely tree out here, huh? Looks like pretty green up around their homestead up here. This must be it. Cool. Let's get some Lawrence Welk history here. Stop, see what these signs say. Looks like we got seven buildings to go, go explore. Do a walk around. And let me get parked up here. I'm sure they restored these things. Wow, look at that windmill. That's cool looking. All right. Check her out. A little sign over here. Looks like we go in over here. Very nice. People running this thing. Five bucks if you want to come inside the buildings. Free if you don't. And you can have a picnic out here. Have lunch. Look at this old place. The shoes lined up. Take your shoes off, Lawrence. It's a sod house. Look how they built those things. Still going. A wood door. Here's the kitchen where Mama Welk was in here cooking. Making all the meals. Totally different world. Look at that. Probably a little uh, fruit cellar down below. Boy, the smell in here. You can just smell its age. This place has definitely been lived in. Kind of like going back to Grandma's house. <laughs> We got, this is probably the main room, just full of life. Got organ. That's how they heat it. Look at that. That vent pipe goes through the rooms. That's how they got their heat. Because it's cold in North Dakota. Oh, man. 
Brian Lawrence sat here, played music for his family. Clarinet. Those are some old time instruments. Some old organs. Accordion. That's what he was famous for, wasn't it? Accordions. Old time clock. Yeah, this is definitely like going back to Grandma's house. Yeah, look at that heat pipe. Right out of the stove, and that's how they heated. Oh, hey. There he is. I mean, if you're my age or around there, you grew up watching this guy. It was a must-see. <laughs> Sewing machine. Very well laid out. Very good access to this stuff. Yeah, this is smelling here. This smells lived in and old. A lot of history here. There's some old time pictures. I'm pretty sure he was German. I think they're all German descent. There's a town here called Strasbourg. We'll run in there too when we leave. Check that out. I looked a little bit on Google before I came in here. Pretty cool. Old pictures, candles. Yeah, no electricity back then. Well, what do you say? Let's wander outside. See what else we can get into. There's a wood burner stove. Because my goodness, around here it gets below zero and stays like that for quite a while. Every winter. Alright, let's head out. There's one of those non-flushable toilets. <laughs> Look at all the trees. This is well landscaped. They got picnic benches. They said you're allowed to be out here as much as you want. This is run by the state. State of North Dakota. They got a little garden going. The caretakers here. Really friendly. Very, very good. They'll give you a guided tour if you want. I just said I'll go on my own. All right, let's snoop around. What, what have we got? It looks like their maintenance shop. Old rain barrel to catch the water. They had it figured out in the day, huh? <laughs> what we got? Here's their workshop. The old time one. Old grinding wheel. Horse collars. These buildings are very well restored. Little blacksmithing stuff. Pretty big pond. I wonder if that was here in his day. Look at this. They got those talking points here. You can scan that on your phone. Hear all about it. I bet that was there. That looks pretty original. Imagine old Lawrence out here fishing, and then his mom says, Lawrence, dinner time. Get in here. <laughs> okay, Mom. <laughs> oh, man. Look, there's an upstairs on that house, too. Probably where the kids slept. Okay, what do we got in here? Looks like some history. Ah, this is about the town. Germans from Russia. Oh, I didn't know that. Huh. 
Looks like how they migrated here over the years. I'll be darned. I love these old kind of pictures, black and white ones. The old style buildings. Chances are some of them buildings are still standing. History of Strasbourg. Look how the towns look with the old cars. For the most part, it's a long house. Oh, goodness. About the cemeteries. Pictures of the original settlers. Look at the workers. Looks like steam powered tractors for the fields. Taking your grain to town to sell it. Looks like the sod blocks. Build your house. <laughs> no, no Home Depot. Wow, there's a good picture. They must have had a drone back then. Got a drone shot. <laughs> Wow, history. Keep the history going. Well, cool. What else we got around here? That windmill is pretty cool. Look at the boards on it. I bet that thing can really spin around. That's how they pump their water. Okay, now what we got? Old farm stuff, huh? Wow, there's, oh, there's original buildings. So they're still the same. Just been repainted and fixed up. Look at that. That's cool. So these are true original buildings. The Welk Homestead. Wonder how many people have gone through here. I bet tons. There's some clips, newspaper clips of Lawrence. I'm sure he was the hero here. Welcome, dedicated June 7th. Imagine going from North Dakota all the way to Hollywood. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> oh, man. There he is. Yeah, accordion. There it is. What a showman. 1903 to 1992. So he lived a long life. Wow. Pretty cool. Pretty good little article on him, dating back when he was born, 1903. The Champagne Music Trademark. <laughs> There's the cast. Oh my goodness, I could remember. All the Christmas shows, holidays. I mean, what a staple in the, everyone's world back then. Huh. Pretty cool. Well, I think the only thing is the barn. Yeah, look at that windmill. Look how they got the boards on it. That's how they did it back in the day. 
the angles of the wood. That pumps of water, I bet. Okay, all we got left is the barn, and we'll head on into town. Cool little stop. I highly recommend stopping here. You want a little nostalgia history? Bring back some good old memories. This is one for the books here. For sure. And what do we got in here? You can't go all the way in. That just shows the animals. Horses. Okay. Chickens. Preserving architecture. You know, they have preserved these buildings so well. These things will still be here another hundred years. All right. What do you say? Let's head to town. Green as far as you can see. That's a pretty good sized pond. I bet it was here back in the day. Maybe not that big. Who knows? I'm only guessing. But there's a Welk Homestead. Nice. Let's jump back on Highway 83. We'll head on into uh, Strasbourg, just a couple miles up the road. Grain silos everywhere. Pretty soon they'll be harvesting their corn. All right, make a left. Let's cruise town. Everyone's got a lawn. Trees are all greened up. Small town USA right here. Sidewalks. Tree lawns all lined up. <laughs> I love driving through these little towns. Looks like libraries and schools. Fire departments. Ha. Huh. Pretty cool. And welcome to downtown Strasbourg. Old brick building. I bet that's been a, there a while back in the day. Kind of like back at the homestead, some of them old pictures showed all the wood buildings and all the horse wagons, they're all bringing their grain to town. But who knows, some of these are probably original. But these guys here on the left, they've been here a long time. Look at the fronts. There's a local bank. Not m many people around. Hey, little park. I need to stretch my legs. Let's go walk the park. This is a little memorial park here. There's your local swimming pool. Cool. All right. Let's take a walk. Hardware Hank in Strasburg. Yeah, when you see them old buildings with the barrel roof, you know they've been there a while. Veterans Memorial Gardens. Got all the flowers planted. Here you go. This is what the U.S. is all about here. Honoring your veterans, you betcha. 
Outstanding. Good. And we got a little park gazebo. Come down here and enjoy your community. There you go. Community Park in Strasburg. Swimming pool looks good. All towns have an old bell, probably rang in a church somewhere. Oh, and all towns have a tank. <laughs> so the kids can come down and climb all over them. Well, pretty cool. Neat little town. Strasburg, North Dakota. Just a few miles from that Welk homestead. All right. To the van we go. Yeah, let me get turned around here. Down here are the tractors. Those silos are huge. They're, they're in every little town you can think of in North Dakota. Right. We'll head back out to Highway 83. Here it is here. I'm full on fuel. Should be good shape. Look how flat all that corn. Man, just forever. <laughs> Love it. What do you say? Let's go check out some more in North Dakota. Journey continues. Talk soon.